Hi, I'm Jim Jubak, and welcome to my YouTube video for Wednesday, December 7th. Before I get into the video, let me... I'm, I'm having a little trouble getting into the holiday spirit. Um, the world seems a rather grim place right now, but I blundered into a really, really great holiday movie. It has nothing to do with Christmas, but it has to do with the spirit, and it's Oppie, which is running right now on Amazon Prime. Um, and Oppie is short for Opportunity, which is one of the two Mars rovers launched with Serendipity. Um, and Oppie was extraordinary. And its, and its mission was to roam across Mars for 90 days, at which point they thought its solar batteries, solar cells and batteries would, would die. The thing lasted for 5,230 5, some days. So a little more than 90 and just ventured everywhere. But what's so amazing about it is to watch the people at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory sort of fall in love with this robot. It's very strange. <laughs> it's very strange looking robot. Um, and also just to, to what's important to me when the world looks so grim is to just listen to these people talk about their love, their, their ability to pursue their own goals, to exercise their minds, to develop to the best of humanity. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's, you know, an hour and a half and just amazing. Anyway, so today's topic is waiting for the Fed. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get a notification of when we do the next one. We're doing about three weeks, but not always on the same day. Uh, if you want more of my stuff, including three portfolios, um, go to my free site, that's jubackpicks.com. If you want more and more, uh, including six portfolios that include some ETFs and some uh, short ETFs and some options, go to my paid site, that's jubackam.com, uh, and you'll find links to that all down below. Anyway, we're, pretty, we're a week away from the December 14th uh, Fed meeting where the Fed has been pretty adamant about we're going to, that they're going to do another 50 basis point increase in, at that meeting. Um, I think that's pretty much locked in. They've been saying it over and over again. And even though the Fed can't say anything at all right now because they're in their quiet period, I don't think that's likely to change. Um, but what's really important is not the 50 basis points. That would be a step down from 75 in September. And people would see it. People have seen it as a sign that the Fed is tapering. The issue really is uh, in the dot plot uh, and, and what the Fed says, how long is the Fed going to keep raising rates? How high is the top? Right now, Wall Street is saying 5%. Uh, we're now at 375 to uh, 4% uh, on the Fed's benchmark rate. They're saying 5% is the top. If that's confirmed, I think the, the market will relax uh, and we'll get an end of the year rally after you know, from the 14th through the beginning of the year. If, however, the Fed intimates or the dot plot says that they're looking at five and a half, I think 6% is really where we're going to wind up. Uh, the market is likely to go, oh, that's a little, little scary uh, and cut back. Right now, what we're seeing is that, you know, the, the S&P moved up to near the 4,000 range, a big mental level, uh, and then moved slightly above it, but hasn't been able to hold 4,000. So on noon, on December 6th, uh, it had broken back below 4,000 to 39.55. Um, and let me just show you the chart on this. So here's the here's the S&P trying. This is the 30th. It's above 40. It's above 4,000 at 40, 48. And then it starts to slide, and then we get a bigger slide. I think this is the normal uncertainty that um, happens before a Fed meeting, where big stuff is, could be announced. Um, it's also typical of trying to break through a major level. You'll notice that if you go back here to September 12th, which is the local high, uh, is at 41.10. Uh, so we didn't quite make it. Uh, Back to that level on this high, whoops, on the on the 30th. Uh, and one of the things that a technical analyst will tell you is that on the way back up, um, 
levels that were support on the way down turn into resistance. So I think we're looking at 4,000 as being resistance. We're looking at uh, this high of 4110. Um, the 200 day is at 4085. Both of those are now ceilings that the market is bumping up against uh, and trying to figure out, can we get over that? I think the market is likely to move beyond that after the 14th. Uh, if it doesn't get some big surprise from the Fed in terms of the Fed saying where the peak is. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get a notification of when we're doing the next one. Uh, if you want more of my stuff, including three portfolios that do five years, 12 to 18 months and dividends, you can go to my free site. That's jubackpicks.com. If you want six portfolios, uh, which will include some ETFs and some really long-term picks, um, beyond five years, more like 10 or more, um, plus um, some options plays. You can go to my paid site, that's jubegam.com. You find all that down below. Thanks for watching.